Rocks in Substance Designer Most tutorials you see on this topic come with a lot of notes and heavy crafts. Today I'm gonna demonstrate that you can create some really nice rocks using no more than 15 notes. So I will start with the base shape and for this I'm gonna use a crystal one node and let's set the scale of it to 5. And I want the shape to look similar to a cliff, so I'm gonna use a transform 2D node and scale it up in one of the axes. I'm gonna frame this and call it base shape. The second thing I look for after creating the base shape is to add some variation. In this case, I'm gonna add variation in both scale and direction. So I'm gonna duplicate both of these nodes and label them as variation in scale and direction. Then I will scale the crystal one to 10 and I'm gonna rotate the transform node for a change in direction also. Let's bring in a blend node. I'm gonna use the add blending mode with an opacity of about 0.55 so my goal up to now was to create difference and as you can see i created difference in scale as we have medium and small shapes and also difference in direction as the smaller shapes have a different direction compared to the medium ones the next step is to give these crystal-like patterns some form as they don't really look like rocks yet. For this I'm gonna use a non-uniform direction warp and I'll duplicate the first crystal one and change its seed. I repeat the same process with the transform 2D node because I wanna scale this up just in one direction. Then I'm gonna bring in a histogram range just to restrict the contrast. Let's take a look at some of these parameters. I'm gonna increase the intensity and you can try and play with these values. In this case, trail length, trail fade and warp angle have the most impact on shaping the rock. Moving on, I want to kind of separate these rocks from each other and for that I'm going to use a slow blur. Samples all the way up, intensity at about 0.5 and I'm going to leave it on blur. I want to break up the rocks to look more organic because so far, even with the well balanced medium to small details, this looks man made. For that, I will use a multi directional warp along with a Klaus 2 noise. The last operation to do when creating any kind of texture is to add the fine details. For that I'm gonna duplicate the multi-direction warp and this time I will use a black and white spots too as the intensity input. For this specific rock I'm not gonna bother with the coloring process as the main objective of the video was to demonstrate that you can create something good out of a few notes if you play your note tree well. Then 
The last node to use is on other levels which will restore the full height range. 